How to trade crypto futures on Bybit. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can get started with future trading on Bybit. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on ahead on Bybit.com and you're going to create your account. So for your account, you just have to register and you're, once you register, this is going to be your homepage. You can just register via your email address and verify your email address from your email and then your account will be created. Then then on your top right over here you have your account and what you're going to do is the first thing that you want to do with your account is definitely to deposit money into your account so you can go on ahead into your account and click on your account uh, fee rates just to check everything out and click on earn order or spot orders to take a look at your overall trading portfolio now everyone knows how to deposit money into your account and once you have your account money deposited convert it into fiat and once you have that fiat you can begin trading so what you're going to do to get started with futures trading on bybit.com is you're going to log on and then you're going to click on derivatives over here in your derivatives you're going to click on usdt perpetual or usdt and we're just going to begin our futures trading from here so this will open up the usdt platform for our futures trading now over here you can see this graph over here and you might be wondering what is futures trading and how is it different from spot trading or margin trading now Spot trading is very simple, futures trading is super high risk and very different. I'm going to clear that out and I am not a financial advisor, so make sure to research on your own as well on how you're going to manage your funds on futures trading because it is quite a risky way to make money. Now, with the higher risks, there are also higher benefits as well, higher profits as well. So if you go ahead and take a look at the currency on the top left, you have your uh, different derivatives or currencies that are available for future trading. So you can click on any kind of token that you want to use for your trading. And what you basically do on futures trading is you predict the price of a token. So you're going to be predicting whether or not this token is going up or down. So if you predict that the token is going to go up, so if BTC is going to go up i'm going to long it and if bt if i expect the price of btc to go down i will short it so this basically means that i'm going to predict on the price of btc and with futures trading you're doing predictions so you're not actually going to actually receive any btc in your crypto wallet or crypto account you're basically hypothetically betting on the price you're betting on the price or predicting on the price you're not actually receiving that crypto token into your wallet so to get started you can see the price of btc let's say in the past uh, one day let's take a look at the one day graph over here so in the one day graph the price of btc has gone up so i think i want to long this token and longing basically means that i expect the price to go up so what i'm going to do is first off you're going to choose your leverage on the top over here so what leverage basically means it means the amount of money you want to trade. For example, if I say I want to trade $100 and I put the leverage in as one, that means that I am trading only that $100. If I put the leverage in as two, that would actually mean I'm trading 100 multiplied by two, which means $200. Now, you might be wondering, okay, but I don't have $200 and I'm still trading $200. That is the risk of future trading. You're buying and you're leveraging money as well. So leveraging is basically when you're borrowing money and if your trade goes as you predicted you're going to earn your initial money that you input plus the interest or the profit and the leverage money can be returned back if your trade goes wrong so if i long the btc over here if i expect the price to go up and it goes down instead i'm going to incur a loss and whatever money that i have present in my futures account will be lost i would be liquidated or at least if i have like a lot of money then two times the, like, let's say if I have $500 in my account, I was betting with $100 and I took a two times leverage, then $200 would be deducted from my futures account. So there is a high risk of liquidation in the futures market. So let's say I am longing and I am long going to long with three times the leverage. And then if you can also set the shorting leverage as well, but I'm longing, so I'm just gonna set them both the same. I want to do it three times and then I'm going to set a limit order is to buy or sell at a given price or below so let's say that the order price the current price is 23 and i want to go with 23 300 
and then you can add your order quantity as well if you want so let's say we want to buy 10 over here and then you can click on buy long and or sell short so i want to buy long and then you also have to set your take profit and stop loss so what does this mean now uh, if you don't select this you can leave it but it's very important to enter this price in my opinion because you can minimize losses to quite an extent in future trading and because future trading is so risky and has such high liquidity i would recommend that you actually do put in the take profit stop loss now take profit basically means that okay i expected the price to go up and let's say the price goes up to 23 to 25,000 but maybe i fear that if the price reaches 25,000 it's going to crash back down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to enter the price of 25,000 in the profit order so uh, i would start taking my profit as soon as the price reaches 25,000 for btc and then stop loss now if i predicted the price to go up and it's going down instead then i want to make sure that i am stopping my losses as well so if the price goes down to like sometimes the price can go a little bit down and it goes back up that you have to you know take into account but the price is 23,371 and maybe i want to stop all my losses at 21,000 so i want to make sure that i'm not triggering too much loss so i'm going to stop my losses at 21,000 and if this still feels like a large loss margin then you can start it at 22,000 so this will enable you to minimize your loss with futures trading as well obviously because this is high risk and high profit and high liquidity kind of trading you still might be able to you're still going to incur quite a loss but it's going to be quite limited in comparison to a futures order that you put in without adding the stop loss or take profit options as well and then you're going to click on open long over here and then obviously this is a sample account so i don't have the balance but uh you're just going to click on open long and then your order will be placed over here and you can see it from over here as well and the best part about this is that you're not going to have to sit in front of your screen to see the price dropping or to see if the price is dropping or if your order is going to go through or not you just have to wait a little while and you can just go on ahead and do whatever you want to in the meanwhile while your trade is going on on the bybit platform so that is how simple and easy it is to do futures trading on the bybit platform make sure that you put money in your spot slash fiat account and once you have it in your account you're going to transfer it into your futures account that is a very important step a lot of people are like hey i have money in my crypto wallet but it's not showing up whenever i'm trying to do futures trading well that is because you didn't put it into your futures account because your futures account is going to be separated because futures has a high risk of liquidity and there's a chance that your entire account might get liquidated so the account or the fund that they will liquidate will only be from your futures account they don't liquidate your normal account earnings or your normal wallet money that you have present so that is something to keep in mind as well now i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with futures trading on the bybit platform make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave them in the comment box down below and if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video